हेलो ऑल वेलकम टू पाइथन एकेडमी बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस सेशन लेट अस क्लियर आउट इफ यू आर एबल टू हियर प्रॉपरली एंड कैन सी माय स्क्रीन वेयर वी हैव गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ स्पीच सेंटिमेंट एनालाइजर इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द लाइव स्ट्रीमिंग आल्सो सो यू कैन कनेक्ट टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल आल्सो इफ यू वांट टू गो अहेड विद द लाइव स्ट्रीम so most of the people are already joined and still they are coming in so you can able to hear that is a very good thing today's topic is speech sentiment analyzer the specific thing about how we can automatically convert the speech into a text and at the same time how i can use that to get the sentiment out of that so basically when i talk about the sentiment it is currently we are going to look into only three things basically the positive negative or the neutral thing okay these are the only thing we are going to cover so while doing that we will need obviously some understanding of what is the speech recognition is how we can use the sentiment analysis and then how to combine all that thing obviously since it is just the introductory part we cannot go in detail of uh, every each li line of code or the package but yes we should have the idea how to utilize these things on our pc the second thing is we are going to live it uh, we are coding it live so we can see how the code works and the code will be provided to you also along with that the participation certificates also you will receive also i will provide in the last phase what are the academics perspective or what are the things we provide okay so all these things will be a combined effort of today's webinar speech sentiment analyzer and in between any question come up you have the chat window open the mic access will not be provided because then there is a lot of noise comes in so you can just type it into the chat window all the questions will be answered at last since it is going live on youtube also and on zoho platform so the questions we will handle at last so i can stop the recording at that time and then we can discuss this thing okay so once again welcome all for the python academy on the topic speech sentiment analyzer so let's dive into it the first thing which comes into the mind is what are the things which we are going to deal with what are the things which we are going to understand in this seminar so the first thing which we are going to see is how the speech recognition works actually so basically a very simple way again it will have some complicated scientific uh, scientific things to talk about but that will be the understanding how our case the speech recognition works once you understand that how the things works on that side we will jump on to the next line where python libraries to listen this we will discuss okay so there are multiple libraries available it is not a single library multiple library we can go ahead with then we will see what is the sentiment analysis is how the basic idea behind that how it works and how any one can work on this sentiment analysis if the person knows which libraries to use again because of the python many libraries are available to work on that then we will have the live coding demo where we will uh, specifically speak something it will be recorded as a text and then we will check out the sentiment out of that so that is the contents which we are going to see today for the purpose of understanding the speech sentiment analyzer so the modern speech recognizer can recognize speech from multiple speakers and have enormous vocabularies in numerous languages so it is not a very small thing now 
so many libraries so many uh, things are available so you can just utilize some of them will be free some of them you have to pay on that but it depends on what you are going to use also it is not only the english it is available in all languages french german even in uh, hindi and marathi also lot of things are started available and you can just check out on the google when you speak it gives the word on that so how these things basically work what is the basic idea behind that so the first thing is the speech obviously once we speak it is what we are going to record okay or we are going to recognize once the speech is there it is nothing but the sentences multiple line of sentences we actually creating the physical sound okay so speech is for us as a human yes it is what we are speaking but actually it is a physical sound so on physical sound when we look at that physical sound is heard by our microphone because currently we will have the microphone on our mobile on our laptop whatever the thing you see and this microphone will convert that thing into electrical signal so that is the basic idea of microphone converting whatever you read into electrical signal or you can say a kind of conversion which happens due to analog to digital converter which converts your thing into digital data so that digital data is basically an audio file i am not talking about it is converted into some text which i can read no that is a second phase but yes speech recognizer is a part of all this thing which will use this digital data maybe an audio file okay or an mp3 mp4 whatever you say and on that it will start working and then due to the numerous methods specifically the neural networks inside that the hmm it is using it will convert that digital data into text data and obviously there will be certain kind of errors a percentage of error because we cannot say that that everything i say is 100% accurately converted obviously there will always be some kind of error and that is fine means it is not we are going to create an 100% thing which works very fine there will be an error and we will go through that and if i want to avoid i want to create very pure speech recognizer i need to add lot of conditions in that i need to tune that uh, machine learning algorithm inside that with multiple parameters so that will happen so next thing comes into this when we talk about that what are the things is used actually so the most modern speech recognition system use the hmm that is called hidden markov model so it is a kind of model which is uh, we can have the extension of that as our neural networks or ann which uh, uses multiple inputs and how it is done that also we are going to see so this multiple inputs are used in hmm and then the text is converted again it is not automatic it has to be fed with some data so that data which we already know so feeding the data means what already some speeches which has been converted into text and there will be a then correlation so this correlation it will check with what is the new input it is coming and once it knows that then the thing will start so that is the way the things happens here so that we will see how it is work in hidden markov model again if you want detail of that you can go ahead with this just have a google search and you will have a lot of articles on that next this approach works on assumption that a speech signal that is what we are speaking when viewed on a short enough time scale so if i reduce the time scale maybe of 10 millisecond or less than that can be reasonably approximated as a stationary process so it is again a typical kind of physics we are talking about and that is a process in which statistical properties do not change over time so if i take a minute word say i say hi hi again can be divided in multiple uh, audio files very small files and there a small spike which is going from this point to this point can be calculated which is stationary and then all kind of spikes if i combine together yes this stands for high again you do remember there are different dialects there are different ways of speaking also what i am speaking may not be actually a same case with all of you everyone will have a different speaking aspect so that uh, change in tone also has to be captured so that is the big task so that is the big task to capture okay but it is still going on lot of process lot of research is still there 
so what we are talking about can be reasonably approximated as a stationary process and that is a process in which statistical properties do not change over time because speech is a changing over time as i speak different different words in a typical hmm the speech signal is divided into 10 milliseconds of fragments so it is divided into different fragments and then that fragments will be used to understand how the things is going on okay so basically hmm is the way which can be used for the understanding of how we can utilize this speech recognition software or what is the speech recognition inside that that is the main thing behind that now <coughs> how the process goes so what are the steps we follow so the first step comes into the picture it's called sepstrum so again that is a physical word you can search it on so what is this uh, sepstrum is so speech signal which we have said is divided into 10 milliseconds of fragments the power spectrum of each fragment the one which is divided small small parts which we have each fragment is mapped to a vector of real numbers known as sepstrum coefficient so it is defined sepstrum coefficient on that this new signals which is coming in which is divided will be get combination or vector manipulation will be done and if that is matching if that is good then we can say this word is coming from another word or it is the matching word that is what we want to identify so that is the first step which works then comes the phonemes so phonemes again uh, it is something phonics or some related words from uh, phone or anything you can talk about so what is this phonemes is so these groups of vectors which we just talked about are matched to one or more phonemes of a fundamental unit of speech so as i said some input some it is again not a sum it is a very big input already a speech recognition wants as an input which has all this kind of words matching and then that word will start matching with the one word which we are speaking okay so that is the phonemes matching happens this calculation requires training since the sound of a phoneme varies from speaker to speaker as i already said there is the possibility that obviously one speaker says a word say hello like uh, i am saying and another can say hello so both are same but we have to match it with their group of phonics and that is where it is done okay again through python coding we are not going to do this this will happen automatically because of the libraries which are available but at least we should have the basic idea behind that how it works okay so there are lot of topics on python which you can uh, understand you can see and you can also see on our youtube channel which we discuss continuously so you have a lot of ideas lot of small projects if you are in a college or something or lot of new things if you are working in some industry and once we combine this with phonemes the algorithms comes into the picture a special algorithm is then applied to determine the most likely word or the words that produce the given sequence of phonemes so the given input which is coming from the speech and audio signal and input which is already a train will be matched and again there may be multiple matching so hi hi and hello may match something similar and then may have different output so that is maybe the case so all these things will be combined and then the combination a relation will start to find out nn are used to simplify so basically it is an artificial neural network so nn which is also used most of the time specifically signify this thing to understand how to get the idea of that okay so that is the way how the things happen so the nn used to simplify the speech signal using techniques for feature transformation feature transformation is what nothing different columns are called the features which has to be matched it is not a very small thing it is not a nothing but yes we have to combine that okay and then the dimensionality reduction also has to be done that is again a pca method or many methods are there before hmm recognize recognition means before the hmm or the neural network recognize yes that is kind of speech i am speaking okay so fortunately for as a python programmer we don't have to worry about any of this several speech recognition services or the libraries are available to work on that so what are they some of them we will show one is api ai which is very popular but somehow complicated has many other things rather than only speech recognition assembly ai it is also popular google cloud speech google itself provide a cloud speech platform where you have to register you have to generate the keys and then 
Google will start providing the service to you. You have to use it some uh, input. Maybe a good thing is a lot of other languages support is also there. So Google Cloud Speech is there. Pocket Phoenix is also there. Not used by me, but yes, it is there. Speech recognition. That is the simplest word you can see and simplest library which also we are going to use in our code. So speech recognition is a very well and simple library. It inside has the Google Cloud Speech integrated. So you don't have to create some keys going there. You can directly use that. So that is the best thing. There are other Western Development Cloud which is given by IBM and Wheat is also there. So there are many libraries. More on this also you can search on net and you may find out yes this works peculiarly for my case. That may happen. So so many things are already available. Only the thing how to utilize it is the main thing. So that is the when we can think of. Okay. So this is the part of speech recognition. So we are going to use this speech recognition library. Let's have a small detail on that also. How that speech recognition library works. So recognizing speech requires the audio input and speech recognition makes retrieving this input easy and that is there and that's why we are going to use a Pi audio that is again a library which is used to connect your uh, microphone for our purpose. Okay. Instead of having built scripts for accessing microphones and processing audio files from the scratch, speech recognition, the software or I can say the library. Uh, speech recognition will have you up and running in just a few minutes. No more uh, complicated things of adjusting audio and all that thing that is not required. The speech recognition library acts as a wrapper for several popular speech APIs and is thus extremely flexible. Okay, so it is very flexible. You can understand it step by step. One of these, the Google Web Speech API, that is the speech API provided by Google, supports a default API key. So it has one default key. Uh, nowadays it is not available, but it is already coded there. So that default key can be utilized as a speech recognition library, which is hard coded there. You don't have to create that, you have to just use it. That means one can get off one's feet without having to sign up for the service. So that is also a very good thing. You have to directly utilize and the things are done. So that is very good. And that's why we are going to use the speech recognition system. Now coming on to the second part. Once we have the speech, once we have the text in our hand, what are the things we have to go with is the sentiment analysis. Okay. So the sentiment analysis, uh, the question comes in, you have to put the question at the last, but still uh, Nayan has asked, yes, the re uh, recorded video of this will be available on our YouTube channel. So do subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Anup Kelkar's Python Academy, and you will have continuous weekly new new session, which you can see with the new new topic. Okay, so that is available. So moving back to our discussion, sentiment analysis. So basically sentiment analysis, again, a complicated thing, but yes, it is very popular. Everyone is trying to use that in their purpose and how to utilize that. So the sentiment analysis, which we are going to use, will talk about only three kind of sentiments. So the sentiments, as you can see in the PPT, will talk about the three one. They are the positive, neutral and negative. So when I say my experience so far has been fantastic, yes, the word fantastic comes out to be positive and this total thing is positive. But remember, it is not a single word. If I say uh, so far has been so, so far may be a negative word also because I am talking about so far. But I can write here my experience so far has been fantastic, but today was a disaster. So now single but word made that thing a negative side not the positive so how we understand how many words we should read that is called n-grams okay so that is again a different topic we will discuss that in the future once we have on that where we will define how the n-grams is defined so google has defined a five n-gram methods up to now which is very high and heavy so that is the positive sign the next thing comes out to be the product is okay i guess so it is just the okay word i am using and I guess word also I'm using. So it is a neutral part. Whereas your support team is useless. Totally useless means negative. So it is not only on the word the things happens or the sentiment analysis work. It has the multiple things like the bag of words, then the vector calculation on that, and then the matching of the words along with the 
syntax and then come up with the answer so so many things are there it is not a simple thing as uh, quickly just reading because we are humans we can read it and we can understand but now we have to work on the machines to on that so it is a difficult task okay but yes the libraries are our uh, available for our rescue so when we talk about the sentiment analysis the sentiment analysis is the interpretation and classification of emotions basically positive negative neutral now you can divide that also like uh, highly positive or happy loving negative we can have sad or uh, totally frustrated in neutral also we can have joy joyful so we can divide that also again it depends on how the sentiment analyzer it is defined there okay so we can have the emotion within the text data using text analysis technique so basically we use the text analysis technique to get the idea how the things is happening there okay and that is the way we generally use how we can utilize our case of sentiment analysis sentiment analysis allows businesses to identify customer sentiment toward products brands or services in online conversation and feedback so this sentiment analysis is used multi time means in multi dimension i can say like it is not only the product or uh, every industry may be a film industry like they will collect the reviews of the tweets or the comments from the trailers and they will identify the sentiment of the people are people ready to accept this movie or they are finding something difficult and then they will start changing the things in that and that happens when there are the cases like if you remember there was a movie where uh, we have uh, baywatch was the movie and priyanka chopra was the uh, villain in that movie so once first trailer came in that part and trailer is obviously a 5 minutes or 4 minutes in that part priyanka chopra's part was shown very small means uh, a fraction of a uh, minute you can say and then a lot of people from india got the negative feedback uh, why our heroine is not uh, showing there and that is correct they want to see her more rather than other characters and once that feedback was gone the sentiment analysis must have happened there and they come up with no no this was a trailer uh, which was wrongly posted this is actually a trailer where you can see the priyanka coming up in three four times and then they got a very good response how the movie made or something that is a different thing but that is the way how it can be utilized second example uh, when uh, us president obama was there he also floated one policy for the health okay so obama health it is called so for that also he made all the points in that obama health open so people should read it and then they provide the comments now if you consider the us total population you cannot read each comment they must have done some kind of sentiment analysis to come up with is this people are fine with this kind of thing and then it should be applied or not so in every and everything this can be utilized to reduce the time and get the feeling of how the people are talking about again through the comments through the tweets through the something input which we can read it okay so that is the basic sentiment analysis the sentiment analysis is the text analysis method that detects polarity basically the positive negative opinion within the text whether the whole document paragraph sentence or clause and generally for sentiment analysis it is said that the sentence should be small because if you add the sentiment of whole three uh, sentence or a paragraph it will be difficult to judge yes we can judge it by reading each statement separately calculating the total and what we are going to do that like if we talk about some new movies reviews our uh, pie chart which we will show will show how much good and bad thing i am talking about okay so that will be the thing happen here also so that is the way sentiment analysis is done now talking about that sentiment analysis uses various natural language processing nlp method so that is also a very popular thing uh, currently in the market currently market is flooded with ai things okay artificial intelligence so many people like to work on that okay so artificial intelligence again as uh, you can see on our youtube channel there is one uh, video which we have loaded last time we have the live webinar on that which was artificial intelligence demystified where i categorize that thing very well so you can understand yes that are the things and this is one of the thing i should go in deep okay don't think that i will learn ai as a whole it has to be part and parcel so you decide which has to go with <coughs> so as i said nlp is one of the part of this ai that is the methods and algorithm which we will go over in more detail in this section are the main types of algorithm used include rule based automatic and the hybrid a combination of rule and automatic 
so the rule based system that performs sentiment analysis is based on a set of manually crafted rules so it is not very accurate nowadays not used much because it is not that much accurate so it is a rule based it is a step by step whereas in automatic that rely on machine learning techniques to learn from the data so basically they have used a lot of methods inside that a classification methods which you can have multiple uh, neural networks are there then simple logistic regression so many things are there which can be utilized and then there is the hybrid that combine both the rule based and automatic approaches and that is more good if you combine both of the things together and then start utilizing them the output will be more accurate more easy to understand because most of the things which can be manually adjusted we will add in a rule base and then on automatic we will go step by step so that is the thing we go ahead with now this diagram is again uh, a simple diagram which shows how the things of sentiment analysis is done so in the first step the training happens where we have the tag and then we will have the text so tag means all the text all the sentences which we have will have one by one uh, tagging to them is that sentence is positive or negative manually okay so i am talking it manually it is already manually uh, done on that once it is manually done the feature extraction process will start where we will start to extract the features from that how we will have multiple bag of things and other multiple things which understand how we can take out of the uh, i can say the tags on that so okay, or i can divide the words which are unnecessary called a stop word how we can remove that is the that which will not signify and once that features are available we will use the machine learning algorithms training part which will take this and will deal its own way to create a model which is called the classifier model and now once the classifier model is ready we will have the prediction so we actually pass a text we don't know what is its tag feature extractor and features will be extracted as per requirement and the classifier mode will start the tagging of that so that is the way the step by step things happens okay so the classifier mode will automatically takes the input and it will identify what is the thing which we are going to do with okay so that is the way the things will happen okay uh, just a minute Now, as I said, the tagging which will happen, which automatically identify what are the positive and negative sentences and it will produce the related output. So that is the basic way how the sentiment analyzer works. Okay, so the sentiment analyzer again has the multiple inputs <coughs> and on the multiple inputs, it identifies how we can divide or uh, we can identify the sentiment out of the sentence okay now what are the libraries again comes into the picture so as a python programmer we have multiple libraries available to work with the sentiment analysis of text and for natural language processing the most useful and the base on which the multiple libraries are created is the nltk library natural language uh, toolkit it is called and it is very popular but it is somehow complicated to write code in that okay so that is the case then there are text blob and that is the library which we are going to use so text blob is the best library very easy to start with your first nlp project or first sentiment analyzer then you can have multiple things to go with but this is the very good library to start your coding in python there is the Stanford Core NLP uh, provided by Stanford University. Spacey is also popular when you have to process for some production where you will put this code there. That time the Spacey is also useful. And Genism is also there which is also popular but somehow too complicated to work with in the start. But TextBlob is the very good library and that is the library which we are going to see how to utilize it. So now talking about the TextBlob, what are the things available? So the text blob library which we are talking here is makes the text processing simple by providing an intuitive interface to NLTK. So basically text blob is extracting NLTK only but in a simple way and that is a good. 
it is a welcome addition to an already solid lineup of python nlp libraries because it has a gentle learning curve so gentle learning curve means easily step by step i can understand what are the things i can work on that okay so gentle learning curve while boosting a surprising amount of functionality by default the sentiment analyzer is a pattern analyzer from pattern library so pattern is one of the library in python which will use this pattern analyzer in the text block text block is a simple fun library that makes text analysis a joy one will at least use text block for initial prototyping for almost every nlp project so as i said for the starting phase whenever you want to work with the python libraries on specifically nlp natural language processing it is always good to work with the text block because it is a very good simple library to work with once you have the understanding the process behind that how the uh, bag of words is done how the punching is done how the things are combined you can go ahead with some complicated libraries because they will work more good more fine okay so that will be the case so moving on to the next now lot of things we have talked about lot of theories we have said that what is the sentiment uh, analysis how it can be utilized what are the things which we are going to do with the speech recognition how we can identify that all this talking is done now let's code it lots have the live coding how we can do that and this code is available on github i will just provide you the link also which you can download also okay so that file is ipyanb file i will just show you it is a jupyter notebook file so if it is already installed on your machine you can immediately start working on that if it is not installed then let's have this video continue you understand all the things and whenever you get time you install that jupyter and work on that okay so that are the two good things are available so in coding again what things we are going to do we will break the coding our whole project into steps what are the steps in first step we will listen the sentences one by one using microphone then we will convert the sentences which we will captured in one of the data type called link list and then one by one sentence we will convert into the text and once we convert into the text we will perform the sentiment analysis on that so that are the three steps we will go and then we will combine whole code together to work on that so that is the things we are going to work with so let's have our code now so let me change the screen for that so just uh, wait a minute and i will uh, share the code now so all of you must be uh, visible with the code so that is the speech sentiment analyzer which we are going to work with python 3.7 you can use the 3.6 3.8 also and we are going to run it with okay so hopefully on the both side on so platform it is also available yes and it is available on youtube channel okay so now the code which i am going to tell is a very simple code you have to work with this and as i have shown the link is provided there itself the link which is available on github i will just have the copy paste of that so all of you can just click there and can download the code on your part also okay so <coughs> i am putting it into the chatting window so all of you will definitely will get this the code to work on okay so do download that code so you will get the idea how to utilize this code and as i said it is a jupyter notebook so those who have that installation can utilize it those who don't have have to install it and then go ahead with that okay so there are the steps you have to follow now looking at the code step by step so for the things to work with we need one software called pi audio which connects your microphone so that pi audio again is provided in wheel format so we need to install a one more thing called pip win that is specifically for windows since i am working on a windows 10 that's why i am installing it if you are working on some other uh, version maybe a mac machine maybe a linux ubuntu any version these things will not be required okay again i will repeat this is only for windows okay and i have done that what happens in this when you say pip command it is the command to bring something from internet so it will bring a library pip win from the internet to my machine okay so that is the pip install with the user option so there should not be a administrative problem so once it is done it is installed as a separate library and once that library is installed 
it takes some time because it uh, takes a lot of uh, things from the internet where it is available and once it is done it is done i got one warning that is install at some other location i have made that changes you can have it will go in your uh, main folder also whereas on linux or ubuntu or mac this error may not appear because there will be a root library where this will go and once that is done i am installing another package called py audio which is internally used by speech recognition software okay so what we have done up till now no coding we are just installing the packages which is required for our purposes okay so that is the thing we are doing now once we install that the py audio and this one py audio also takes some uh, inputs it is uh, nearly i think uh, 5 to 7 mb which comes out to be here uh, uh, not mb also it is only 109 kb and it get installed okay so the two things which i need for my purpose is done the third thing which i need is the speech recognition library so again i am doing pip install speech recognition for me it was already there for you if it is not there it will get installed okay do remember the python is totally case sensitive so whenever you write something speech recognition with s and uh, r capital it has to be written in the same way okay so then only it will be taken okay otherwise it will show the error so that error should not be there so this is the file which we will read it and the last file which we have discussed for sentiment analysis it is the text block so that part also we will do it so what we have done in this part we have done only the installation through the jupyter if you don't want to work with jupyter you are on ubuntu and you have already a python installed there you can have the pip install command without this exclamatory sign okay this is required to override in jupyter otherwise it is not required so the installation part is done now the next thing comes is to be how to utilize all this thing <coughs> So the first thing is we will import the speech recognizer as an SR. So SR is what? Just the allies name I am giving to it. Okay. So instead of every time writing speech recognizer, I am writing SR, which is a shortcut thing. Okay. So the code will start from at this place where we will import the SR. So I will also run it. So the part is done and speech recognition is with us. The next code is somehow big one. Yeah, need to be understand very well. What we do is we are writing def that is the way how the function is declared. So the function name is recognize speech from the mic. That is, that is what we are going to do. And it has two things as an input recognizer and microphone. Okay. So the recognizer and microphone are the input which we will pass. If I go down, I will explain that code here, which will uh, give you some of the inputs. Okay. So we are going to call the function. And we are going to pass recognition and mic from this place. Okay, so their recognition or the recognizer comes from the recognizer speech recognizer library, whereas the microphone mic is coming from uh, SR, the same library microphone with the device index one. Why one? That are the different indexes which you get for different devices. If you have, if you have multiple mics, you can adjust that also. <coughs> now. How this function work? The function is very simple. As I said, you don't have to worry about many things. The first thing is check that the recognizer and microphone arguments are appropriately typed. So I will use it. If not an instance of recognizer, it will say recognizer must be a recognizer instance. And if it is microphone is not an instance of microphone, it will say it is not of instance of microphone. This is just I am checking if I am passing something wrong. It should not be the case. I should not pass any wrong thing. But yes, if I am passing it, I need to check it if it is properly or not. Okay, so that is the first step we have done. Once we have done with that, what we are going to do is adjust the recognizer sensitivity to ambient noise and record audio from the microphone. There are a lot of noise sometimes comes, maybe a fan, maybe a something. We have to adjust that. So how we can adjust that, that also we will do here. So with the microphone as a source, recognizer dot adjust for ambient noise so analyze the audio source for one second and accordingly the mic will be adjusted and then once it is adjusted i am using audio is equal to recognize dot listen in bracket source so that is the point where 
I will capture the audio. Audio means a uh, clip or uh, whatever the input I have. And once I capture, we will set one response which is success, error, and transcription, which is by default we will have none, none, and true value. Okay, so considering I got that sentence and I got conversion of it also, both the things. Okay, so that's why I have added a response in that. Now, once I added that, try recognizing the speech in the recording. If the request error or unknown value error exception is caught, update the response object accordingly. Okay, so that is the way how we are going to work with. Then we have the try block. In that, I am saying the response transaction is recognizer dot recognizer underscore Google. So that is the by default function available in our sentiment, uh, not the sentiment, speech recognizer and which uses some default keys provided by Google itself, which you can utilize. And then I am passing the audio inside that. Okay. So the audio taken from the mic directly, which you can see here. Here it is happening is the conversion of that audio into the text. And if there is an error, the response will be false and API unavailable. If there is an unknown value error, the output will be unable to recognize speech. So that are the errors it will generate. If that is not the case, we will return the response where we will have the exact output which we want. So that is the way the function has been defined. And then this function is utilized in recognizer is equal to senior recognizer where we will identify the voice from the microphone. So both of things we will pass here and in response we get this thing. Okay, so that is the way the things are happening. Now in response we have, we are printing it using the response success error and the transcription. So all these three things using a simple print comment I am doing. So let's have this thing first if our thing uh, of uh, microphone is working or not. Okay, so let me create my function, be it ready. The recognizer is ready. Again, this recognizer uh, reads the sound for small time frame and then it stops. Okay, it is not a continuous, it will read. If you want to do that, some other parameter has to be set. So the mic is sent and now the response I have got it. Okay, so now I am going to run the response. So if I run here, Hello, how are you? So it has captured something because now the star mark which appears here is gone. Okay, the star mark was there which shows it was processing. So if I run this line now, it prints out, hello, how are you? So you can see whatever I have just said got captured by this mic. So that is the first process or the first phase of our whole project we achieved is whatever I say, it should get printed, it should be get converted into text. Again, it is not a magic. All the things are predefined and we are utilizing it. Again, to understand how the things happens behind, there are a lot of things you have to study. But that is the thing we have done. The second part which we are going to do it is the sentiment analysis. Okay. So what we are going to do for the sentiment analysis, we will talk about a film and then we will identify what is the sentiment out of that. So how it will be done. First thing, what we will do, we will capture all the words for the films, which we will say. Like last time when I tested, it is film is good, film is very nice, games look like boring, uh, and then uh, bye was captured as bye. Okay, so again that as I said, you speak it, it gets some uh, different word, it may create the problem. Okay, so these things I captured. Now today again we will try it out with some other uh, things which it will capture. Okay. So let us run this to capture the uh, sentences. Now we see this project as suppose if I am talking about some movies uh, with some three, four lines and saying uh, how it the movie is and what are the things happen in that. On that three, four line, like I am taking an interview of a person on that three, four line, which I captured, I will try to find out what is the sentiment of that people or that person for that movie. Is he liking it? It's positive. If he don't like it, is it negative? Or is it neutral? Okay, so that are the things we will capture. So in this code, what are the points I have done? I have a tame string that is a simple uh, variable I have, which has some values in that. Okay, now on these values, I am going to put different different string, which we will capture from the previous code. And there is one records all that is a variable which stands for square bracket. That is the list, which is an empty list, which will fill with the a string which we will talk. 
then i have a loop a continuous loop which will break on by so whenever i will say by my loop breaks okay so time string not equal to by now i am printing speak it out where i will start speaking in okay so that is the part we are going to do with the response is captured from recognized speech from the mic so one by one step i will recognize the speech and i will tell what i am telling or what are the things i am talking about now if the response is success that means i am able to understand what i am speaking the success will be shown and then that is true means success is true means response success is true so response success is true so i will capture that through transcription because in transcription i have that text which is converted from the success or the whatever the word i am saying so i will print it also and if that string which or the word which i am saying is by i will uh, if not equal to by i will append it else i will go out of this loop because once it is by i am out of the loop once it is done a simple thing is thanks for your suggestions your suggestions on given movies and the records all will print what are my suggestions so let's have some suggestion on given movie say any movie which you like or don't like okay so let me run this part movie was good but the climax was excellent i didn't like the hero of this movie but still it is fine by so you will see the code got run the climax word it didn't understand maybe because it has been converted into c star 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 so that may also happen so the words which has been captured what whatever the interview or the suggestions i have given for some movie is movie was good but the climax was excellent again this will be confusing for sentiment analyzer because but is there and the uh, excellent word is both there okay so let us see how our uh, works is done i didn't like the here it miss it because it was uh, none and but still it is a fine movie okay so that is also captured so all this thing has been captured step by step and now we will see how our sentiment analyzer will start to understand how it can be done or how it can be work on so let's have the text blob for that so we will import text blob and from that we will import one library called text blob okay so from text blob text blob is the function which we are going to use so i will just run it so i have the text blob function with me now for the text blob how the things happens okay so it uh, for that we are creating one function get sentiment so it is an sentiment which will talk about what is the sentiment of syntax or the sentence i am passing so it is very simple it is just you pass to the text blob function in return it has one parameter called analysis dot sentiment dot polarity which will be some numerical value and this numerical value if it is greater than 0 it will say that the sentence is positive if it is less than 0 it will be negative and if it is exactly 0 the sentence is neutral now in this field the text block function which has already work on multiple inputs from different angles and they have created their own model the training phase as we have said there are two things the training phase is already done in this text block what we are doing is using its prediction field or the prediction phase where we are passing the sentence and we are getting the output out of that okay so that are the step we are going to follow it is not the simple thing we will go step by step but yes it is done in this phase okay and it will return accordingly so let's me run this now what is the last part i am doing i have created one curly bracket that is a dictionary have the neutral positive and negative count in that starting with zero and now i will uh, read one by one the received statement from the records which we have created and then i will call the get sentiment function which will get the sentiments one by one and will predict what is the positive negative neutral side in that 
and that thing i am adding into the dictionary using the sentiment which is positive negative or uh, neutral and incrementing it okay so how the things happen here so if i run this code it takes one by one inputs okay so uh, it got one error uh, it got one error because of the none which we are passing okay so that none we will remove so our code will work fine so here we got one none so let's have one sale in between so this shows that we have to add some coding part which will remove the uh, non uh, required elements okay so here the none is the part which i have to remove from where from our uh, dictionary uh, sorry dictionary a list which has all the elements so i will have this record so on record all i will uh, say remove so instead of remove i will remove that none part okay so let's remove the none part let us see if this works so if run uh, remove none part is done uh, let me add one more cell just to check if everything is fine now so i will have one more uh, here cell just to check what are the inputs now inside that so now the none part which was wrong has been removed so we can have one code in between we can have remove none from list if it comes so i have removed and my four values which i said are available so now i will go back to run this code which hopefully will run without any error and you can see the movie was good was taken as positive but the climax was excellent it also positive so it is taken as positive that is very good thing i didn't like the the complete uh, statements is not there and that's why what didn't you like we cannot get it and that's why it may have taken in a neutral but still it is fine and yes still it is fine so it is positive so we don't talk about any negative when negative we miss but yes ball are the positive so now if i want to print that i will use a simple library called matplotlib that is a very good library to print the graphs it can be a pie chart a bar chart or any other thing so that is the way it can be used so i am importing that matplotlib using pyplot as an allies name plt and in that the slices which i have provided i am using with the activities of neutral positive and negative with some colors of cmr which can be utilized now i am using the pie chart which is slices which i am passing which will have the values the colors which i have defined the labels neutral positive negative and the percentage okay and with the title of sentiment analysis of this cannot be a tweets it cannot be uh, it can be say movies okay so i will just change it and with the legend and show so once i run this code i get the figure out of that which will be actually a pie chart of whatever the input i have and you will see i have the 75% positive word about the movies whereas 25% neutral so as per my suggestion for a given movie i can say that the movie is uh, positive or 75% positive for the person which i am uh, uh, working with okay and that is the case we can talk about so this is the step by step things which we have talk about and starting from the beginning what we said we have the inputs so i will just have the review of whole the code whole of the code is available as i said on the platform of github i have shared the link also which you can get the idea from and that link you can uh, run it if you have the jupyter if it not you have to uh, write it your own or you have to download the jupyter or install it okay so let me go through the code again from the beginning so from the beginning as i said i have the windows so that's why and the code is available on this platform okay speech sentiment analyzer so that is on github with the python academy i have installed the pip win so pip win is required because i work on my windows if you are on some other version it will be something different once that is done you have to install another thing called py audio that is the file which will connect your mic with and then you have to go with the speech recognition that is the third library and the fourth one is the text block so these are the four library which are very important to work with this project then we import the speech recognition sr we have the function which we have defined which actually reads what you talk about and convert it into the speech 
so whole procedure i have explained you will have availability of this video in youtube channel which i already said anup kelkar's python academy so you can subscribe there and all these videos will be available then it will recognize it with the given device for me a simple microphone and then i have printed it so it was just the testing that yes i said hello how are you and it got printed in the next step we have to use a loop which is continuous which breaks when i say bye and then i said some views on one movie step by step so it got uh, interlinked and it has been kept in one of the list called record all so records all all has the all the inputs which i said out of which the climax word got confusion so it is star 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 sometimes it may be the case that uh, some derogatory word are also not used there that may be the case okay we have to explore that and there was one problem at one point none was got uh, captured because i haven't said anything or the gap was not good so that thing happened but still i got all the things which i said in a list once i got that i removed that none because it is creating an error so that is the new addition we should have in that and i printed yes record all are this thing then i have gone to the text block that is the library which has to be utilized and for that i have used a function a text block which is a direct function which gives your things or the polarity a integer in analysis dot sentiment dot polarity in that the value is greater less will identify what is the thing inside that and this function is used in this sentiment total so i got the sentiments naturally i said most of the positive things so the positive are more negative thing was not gone inside properly so it is not displayed and you can try it out different ways okay so you will have the idea on that and once it is done i have the matplotlib import which has the library which is used for the graphical purpose and that's why we got the sentiment on movies saying the current movie which i talk about one audience is saying is very positive 75% positivity so that is the way how we can have speech sentiment analyzer a step by step process which we have gone through the coding so that is the part which we are going to discuss today a small part about our academy what are the modes that also i will have so let's have one minute where i will just uh, share the same thing on the ppt which we are talking about okay so going back to the same ppt which we are uh, connected with so let me connect it back so now on this we have been on this coding part which we said we will have the code we will convert it and perform the sentiment so that part we have done very well and that was the thing now talking about the python academy uh, academy which is available for all of you to do your course on data analytics with python that is the main uh, motto behind that so we provide a three kinds of delivery modes specifically a classroom delivery online delivery and self paced instructor videos all three things are provided whichever is useful for you you can go with obviously the classroom is only the classroom where you have to come so we have three branches specifically in nagpur raipur and hyderabad so you can contact there and coming in between currently because of this corona virus the classroom is uh, not going on but soon once we have the permission it will start so the classroom delivery as said is a training by expert faculty with industry credentials at our python academy center so that is the one part the second is online delivery that is the live session just like what we are doing it will not be on youtube live it will be on the zoho platform which many of you have connected with so live instructor led virtual classes with expert faculty for real time learning as per your convenience okay so there are two batches currently new two batches online batches are going to start from next wednesday itself so you do contact you just visit our website www.pythonacademy.in where the complete syllabus is available which you can go through it what are the things are corrected and you can call the contact number there so mr sanket is there who is the lead manager for our case he will explain you all the things about the new batches timing fees everything and there is self paced instructor videos that means it is the recorded videos as per your convenience you can go with that video step by step so that thing is also provided okay so this three ways of uh, connection is there so you can go ahead with one by one whatever the way you want to work with okay so that three delivery modes has been provided which you can 
go with and what is the course we specifically talks about a single course we don't have a multiple course saying we can provide machine learning separately we can provide ai separately the course which we provide we we call it a pro degree program content is the data analytics with python which talks about the four phases which jumps into the four phases the first phase is python environment setup and essential where we will learn about python as a programming language so specifically there may be some persons or many person we get we don't have any coding background or something for all of them this phase will be a very wonderful thing all things are hands on you have to code on your way and python is very easy language so how to declare variables how to utilize them how to write the loops all things you can go ahead with that simply then we jump on to the data analytics with python that is the phase 2 where we actually talk about multiple packages like pandas numpy many things are there which you will utilize with chem case studies then there is advanced data science concept where we jump on to the phase 3 that talks about the machine learning algorithms the basic eight algorithms we learn again not jumping on to mathematical background but on how to work with sklearn library we have r programming introduction added in this part because there is a demand in that also we have the mongodb and twitter api integration also so all this part is covered in this and then we have the last part that is the elective which you can see from the net also which are the elective parts available you can select any one of them so all these things are covered in this along with a two months of internship where multiple assignment multiple things will be covered so there is whole package of this it is nearly a 80 hours of course which goes for nearly two months with multiple interaction and all these videos which we cover may be uh, already covered or maybe you are going through online batch are available on youtube as a private video so only your email id can access them so it is available for lifetime so once course is over still you can access them with the uh, videos from youtube so all these things has been provided so that are all the things which are supposed to be talked today so we have talked about the basic uh, thing that is the speech sentiment analyzer how to work on that and then we talk about the related thing how we can go ahead with that okay so thanks for joining this session hope you enjoyed that the code is available you can work with that and uh, anything any question you can just put into the chat window so we can talk about that i will just close the recording so still the session is on so you can put in the question there okay so thanks for joining in we will have the questions now thank you so if you have any question do ask here itself so we have some question from zoho also yes the course is provided in three types online then you can work with the instructor lead or the classroom okay so all things are provided okay and you can work on any of them and once you work with all these kind of things you can easily understand how to go with this uh, different different projects one of them which we have explained today okay so hopefully all of you like this course and do subscribe to uh, the channel which we have provided the new batches schedule you will get it from the number which is on our website from wednesday two online batches are going to start so you do connect there and uh, have the understanding of that from when uh, it is going to start so currently classroom batches is not there because of the lockdown period but the uh, two ways of uh, instructor lead and uh, self paced both are available okay so you go ahead with that also okay so once again thank you for joining this session you will have different different things every time for each week so do subscribe to our youtube channel thank you